Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode, a very special episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. You're gonna be swinging that fucking ponytail the whole time. <laughs> this is my Ariana Grande. Mm. Uh, Ari Ariana Grandma. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana Grandma. Go ahead and say it, internet, I don't fucking care. What are we doing, Raven? Help me. We are doing looks from the red carpet at the Grammys of 2017. Yay! The yeah. Grammys is where it's more, a little more costumey, mm -hmm. a little more over the top, a It's the more music fun. world, it's yeah. music. So music is allowed to be a lot more colorful and strange and whatever the fuck. So let's go ahead and talk about some looks on the red carpet. First up, she just performed at the Super Bowl halftime, and she will be on the Super Bowl of Drag, RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9, Episode 1. Make sure you tune into Logo. Miss Lady Gaga. Joanne herself. Joanne. Yes, Miss Gaga. You know what I love about this look, Raven? It is the classic Gaga that I kind of missed. Like, I love country Gaga, I love pink hat, wide brim pink hat, Joanne. See, Cut I off shorts, Gaga. I don't think this is classic Gaga to me. You don't think this is? No, what the hair is just about? kind of like, before it, the hair was always like kind of a statement along with the look. Like this to me is like maybe a new recreation of Lady Gaga. The really high shoes, the dramatic shoes, the black leather and chains, uh, you know, the sunglasses, the titties showing, and it's just kind of like that, that Gaga that I love. So I'm gonna give this a two. I oh. agree, one thousand percent. Gosh. All right, next we have one of my favorites, Miss Rihanna. She looks beautiful. She do, I Her love her. looks beautiful. This, I love everything. The hair, the makeup, the simple jewelry. Mm -hmm. I like the long weave on Rihanna. Mm -hmm. It's very pondery play, if you will. I love, I love that little bit of under boob showing. That seems to be a theme lately. The midriff, the full skirt. I like the full skirt because the full skirt says, I'm Dick not. Out. Dick out. <laughs> it's his dick out. She's not tucked under this. She's not tucked, and she is glamorous. Yeah. Poofy, train, skirt, volume equals glamorous, and I give this a two. Two. Next. Next we have God. I mean Jayla. Or Jayla. <laughs> She's sickening. I don't like this look. I don't like you. You love me. I don't care for this look. What are you talking I, here, about? Here's the thing. This huge, heavy piece of tulle wrapped around her neck. You know, okay, I wish on. her hair was pulled up. Mm. It, to me, the hair down with that look, it just makes it look kind of like she ran and grabbed a dress, she threw it on, brushed her hair, and went. It doesn't look that effortless to me. It, it looks a little lazy, for, especially for Jayla. I see what you're talking about. I do see what you're talking about. It's the long hair. She should have had a long pony like this. Like if she was gonna wear a weave, like yeah. pull it all back. You know what I kept thinking the whole night while I was watching her on the television was when was I gonna see a big old brown smudge on that? Oh, you know what I mean? Like bronzer. Honey, because if that was me at the club and I would have been wearing <laughs> that all fucking night, there would have been like poppers, makeup, weed. maybe blood, weed. Some Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. On a good night, once a month, semen. Some jizz. Yeah, jizz or semen. Or maybe once a month. If like that. I use, use semen, I just use jizz. It's usually my own semen, but it, it, it's there anyway. Yeah. I love it, I'm gonna give it a toot, and I wanna be J-Lo when I grow up. I'm gonna give it a boot. I don't like it. Next. Next we have Katy Perry. Boot. I mean, it's Tom Ford and all, but. Girl, it does nothing for her cute little figure. See. I don't know. I love the top half of that with a different bottom half. Yeah. Or cut that fucking skirt off, pull that dress down a little bit, and just go out like that with a fierce pair of pumps. Uh, honey, take that skirt off and put it next to your bathtub and dry yourself off on it. That's what I say. And I do love Katy Perry moments. Usually I'm kind of into it. But this one, I just don't feel. I realize that they're going for a more high fash kind of thing for her, but meh, yeah, boot. Yeah, boot. Boot. Next we have Demi Lovato, and she's wearing Julianne McDonald. I love it. I love macrame. I love crochet. I love peekaboo. I like the long hair on her. I was getting really tired of that, like, uh, I'm a, you know, I'm butch 
Demi Lovato. Yeah, I'm, I'm an edgy girl. I'm rock and roll. I flat iron my hair and wear black eyeliner. Shave the other side. Oh my game. No, yeah. And I'm like, no, this fun, is a that's a fun moment to have. Yeah. Uh, but no, this is very chic. Yeah, she looks sexy. It's you know, it it is a little like over overtly sexy, but I like it. That's what the Grammys is about. That's what awards are about. It's to make a statement. Showing some under tit. Mm-hmm. Trend alert, under Trend tit. alert, on me. But I give this a toot. I think oh, she looks sexy. I kind of want to wear that. But I think if I wore that, I would just look like a spider plant in a macrame thing. <laughs> An air plant. <laughs> Next we have the very lovely Adele, and she's wearing Givenchy haute couture. Ooh. Yeah, Givenchy. She's in the house of Givenchy. She looks pretty. She looks so pretty. She looks like she comes from the Emerald City. Mm. Doesn't she? Yeah, totally. Especially Good with witch. the, the uh, the geometric shapes on that. Mm -hmm. It's very Emerald City to me. Green looks great on her. Well, I don't think I've seen her in anything, in even that huge quilt dress she wore that one mm -hmm. time, where I've been like, eh. Mm -hmm. she's, she's beautiful and mm -hmm. she can pull off so much. The day I'll be disappointed with Adele is when she when she dons a bodysuit with rhinestones all over it, like all the other fucking girls do. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for her to do that. Can that be sickening? <laughs> 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 Try it, Adele. We'll Please help you. do. Call us. Call her. We'll write her. stone it for mm -hmm. you, bitch. Two. I give it a two. All right. Ooh. Next we have the queen, Sally. Sally. Dion. Also in green. Also in oh, green, yes. and she's wearing Zuhair Murad. Blah. Yes. Zuhair yeah. Murad. Zuhair Murad. Say that ten times, girl. Celine Dion looks fucking gorgeous. Yes. She's radiating. She, I mean, she had a really bad year last year. Mm -hmm. And here she looks stunning. Yeah. Like she's gotten over something. She does, if she is harboring or still feeling bad about anything, she doesn't look like it. That's how you come back and go, look at me. I look mm -hmm. beautiful. I idolize her. I, I do too. I sing all of her songs in the shower. I, you know, I love her and uh, I think she looks beautiful and green. And she looks sparkly and gorgeous and happy and stunning. And yes, gone, Celine. Ugh. Yeah, I love it. And I love that slick back look. Yes. Yes. Toot. All right, next we have the lovely Solange. 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 You know. And Gucci. Solange has a very, very unique and eccentric way of dressing, and I love that she kind of embraces that, that strangeness. She's not Beyonce. She's not going to No, weird. I actually prefer Solange over Beyonce. Careful. Okay. Sorry, behind. Hey, careful. She didn't mean it. She really yes, I did. She didn't mean it. Her style, her music, it's a little more edgy. Even when she's like, remember that one time she showed up, everyone was like, ew, she was in like this yellow uh, thing and everyone's like, that looks gross. I'm like, I love this. Yeah. I love that type of shit. And she looks naturally beautiful. Mm -hmm. She looks like she has on probably, what is it? Beauty balm, some mascara and lip gloss. I love that trend that's happening. It's the same with Alicia Keys, where it's just kind of pulling back on the makeup, less Instagram face, and just being naturally fucking beautiful. And Gucci, on Solange in this weird citrine kind of greenish gold is so fucking beautiful. I love all the pleats on it. I give Solange a two. I give it a boot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all that, I mean, I just, all I that never, flashing I never, and then we're all, no, never mind. No, I, it wouldn't I, surprise you know me. I think she looks stunning. I think she looks beautiful. I just think this does nothing for her shape. Okay. That's all, but it's a two. That's okay. Next we have the lovely Am I even saying this out loud right now? Paris Jackson? Right? Can At the Grammys. Can you fucking believe that? How, was, where did time go? Was Paris the baby that Michael hung off the balcony back in the day? I think that was Blanket. Oh. Whatever. That's how, I, that's how I remember them. The last time I saw Paris as a child, she had a mask and a hoodie on. Yeah. I think she's gonna be like something big. Oh my God. I think she's something's gonna happen soon. She's a she's, star. Yeah, Do you and see her? She's beautiful. Paris is 18. She's 18 years old. It's been 18 years. Oh my god. But she looks beautiful in Ball Man, and I love it. I love that it's very casual and, and at the same time very dressy. She doesn't look like she's pulled in. She doesn't look uncomfortable. It's showing just enough 
skin. And you know, people are making so many references to her as being a young Madonna. Mm -hmm. This is very young Madonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fucking bleach my hair out, throw some mousse in there, scrunch that shit, beach. throw on a gown, and go. Yep, beach hair. I love and it. Because I'm beautiful. And I, I can do And that. I like her little tattoos. It's very young. It's just very yeah. like, kind of sporadic. I, I love it. I think she looks really, really adorable. And I want to see more. I of... like the shoe. I love it. I love it. I, love I would it. have just liked a beautiful gold pump. Mm -mm. Or even a black I pump. Need, I need that shoe. I need that one. Mm -hmm. you, oh, because you hate the ankle strap. It's not even the ankle strap. It's that shoe with that. It's the platform. It, I, I don't know. It's very that. disco. It's very Studio 54. I give it a two. We got a toot to 54. We got a toot the studio at the 54. Hey, two. better to, better to toot the 54 than the 45, if you know what I mean. So let's move along. Toot to fucking Paris. We have Miss Andre Day mm -hmm. in a peach gown. And Andre Day is wearing vintage Christian Dior. The thing that I love with her is when she's got her the huge mm -hmm. hair. I love when it's big and up. This is cute. This is very flower child. This is very kind of like, you know, she's from a cult in the 70s. I'm, honey. And I knew you Can you put some back into my mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I am living. No, uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. And that is what I'm really favoring right now is this sort of like cult number look from the 1970s or the 60s. Check out the shoes. The shoes are to die for. They're very, very feminine, even if they are blue. I mean, they just, they're just, they look like little teacups on her feet. And the shoes match the nails. I love it. I think she looks like a pastel dream. And the jewelry, everything, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she's naturally beautiful. I want to put her in a beautiful crystal bowl in the summertime and eat her with a silver spoon because she's sherbet. Ooh. Ooh. Toot. Toot. Next we have CeeLo Green as the Ferrero Rocher Girl. candy <laughs> in a wrapper. What the fuck? The hands even look like he's got his hands in like those fake Incredible Hulk, like rock'em sock'em gloves. You know what? Everyone has been booting this online, but I actually kind of love it. I think it's so fucking weird. It's like, and that's what music is about, you know, show a little bit of artistry in it. And we're talking about CeeLo Green here. This is a guy who walks around with a fucking parrot and, you know, and it, it is just kind of flashy and strange. So this is Gnarly Davidson, his new persona. CeeLo Green has that's Gnarly like, Davidson. You know, if, if Mariah Carey can be Mimi and Beyonce can be Sasha Fierce, uh, why not be Gnarly Davidson? And if Sutan Amaral can be Russia Gemini. <laughs> Raven can be Mika Holly White. <laughs> oh my God. I give him props for gumption and showing up to the red carpet. Dresses Ferrero Rocher, so two. He looks really cute and I feel it. And I'm gonna give it two. Why not? Why the fuck not? Next we have Girl Crush. Girl, that, this picture looks like she's wearing a Grammy on her head. <laughs> <It does. laughs> I wish she was wearing a Grammy on the head because that would make a lot more sense in this stupid balloon costume. I mean, what? I think kinda? they're balls. Like, you know, you play and. Oh but if I were wearing this, my balls would be out too. But again, we've got, <laughs> we've got the little top midriff showing and a skirt. She's yeah. having fun. This is obviously her first time. Is that top supposed to be like a, gi a giant bow? I don't know. I think it all looks like a bad challenge on Drag Race. But like the 20 minute challenge, you know? You got, ladies, you have 20 minutes. To get written right drag. Yeah. You got a What's pile of balls, make something. LaShawn Beyond. Remember LaShawn Beyond walked out with a gumball machine? Why didn't this bitch call LaShawn Beyond? LaShawn Beyond would have like given her something else better. I, I just think it's poorly constructed. It's just dumb. You can see the skirt under. It's fea, girl. It doesn't even make sense. It's like, oh, how stupid. Like you're really gonna wear just fucking uh, the ball thing, the ball pit all over your dress. Like at least put a train on it or like wear some on your shoulders or fucking something. I don't know. This is the dumbest dress I've seen it's in a while. Boot. It's a boo. Bye girl. Next. Better luck next award show. Oh my God. You spoke too soon. I did. I spoke <laughs> way too soon. This is the dumbest dress. I, I just spoke way too soon. It's Joy Via. I can't even look at it. No, I know it's behind me somewhere, right? It's like over here. Okay, so no one knows who she is, but maybe that's why she wore this dress, so that people would talk about her. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, boot. I, I, boot. Do I even really need to talk about it? I'm gonna, I'll talk about it a little bit. I just think that this is such a desperate, desperate way of getting attention. Uh, why can't people just be talented now? 
Why can't the talent speak for itself and the statement actually be a statement coming truly from the artist? Yeah. You know what she wore fucking last year because she was trying to get some attention? We, I didn't even realize it was the same bitch until the, until she wore this one. She wore like that orange stuff that separates like when you're when you're doing um oh yeah, you know, yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. The, on the side of the freeway or whatever. I would never want to be talked about that way. This fucking desperate bitch. What the fuck? What the what the how did the what the what the what the so this is blue. This is a fucking I don't I can't. Scoop. No, 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 just don't just Don't even talk about no, it? No, it's Voldemort, bitch. It's gotta go. I mean, the, fuck it. I booted. it. It's embarrassing. You've humili humiliated yourself. Um, I'm gonna, fuck it. Bubblegum dress gets a two. This one, gotta go. Bye. Why do they keep inviting that bitch? And you know what? The little, the little dude that made that dress, don't even mention her name either. Who made it? I need tea. I don't know. Some Project Runway reject. Trend alert! Under tit. Under boo. Titties up the Yeah, just side. the underside. The really soft, fleshy part that just kind of like... Pancakey. You kind of get sweaty in the summer. Woo, woo, woo! Because of the summer. Titties. Little baby titties. Just the underside. Mama, mama. Just the mama, just the baby. And they hold hands. Our top two of the week is... Okay, we had to split this up. Mine, Lady Gaga. I'm a little monster. Love the under boob boot. Lady Gaga, me, mine, living. Yes, God. And my top two of the week is Miss Celine Dion. Looking glamorous, beautiful, classy, and exquisite and timeless. Mm -hmm. Celine Dion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Media Punch for all these amazing images for us to use here on Fashion Photo Review. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to Wow Presents! Presents. <laughs> 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 it's Voldemort, bitch. It's gotta go.